I wanted to hold off on my reaction to the Wicked Movie trailer so my thoughts could settle and any potential hot takes could be cemented. And while I wouldn't say I have any scorching hot takes, I do have some thoughts. Before I had seen the trailer, there were three major aspects I was curious about. The tone, the visuals, and Ariana Grande's acting performance, or at least how she would portray the character of Glinda. So let's start with the tone. It's a slippery slope when adapting a campy Broadway musical into a big blockbuster film, and it could go so many ways in terms of the vibe and general direction. On one hand, if it stayed too close to the spirit of the stage version, where everything is meant to be exaggerated and even a bit silly, that would be tricky to translate well into the more intimate, grounded medium of film. It could easily come across as too corny to buy into, and even if it did so successfully, that would limit the audience, and this thing has too big of a budget to only appeal to musical theater junkies. On the other hand, if they leaned too far into the other direction and made it too serious, grounded, gritty, or realistic, which is a very likely thing for a film to do in this day and age, then they'll inevitably be met with tonal inconsistencies because the original material, the songs, the story, the iconography, is so inherently campy and whimsical that the presence of all those essential elements in a more grounded, straight-faced world would just stick out like a sore thumb and just wouldn't mesh together. That was a huge problem for The Little Mermaid. It wanted so badly to create a world of realism, which not only made it less exciting, but when you have to add the elements of a Jamaican crab performing a musical number and a half-octopus witch doing show tunes and drag makeup within this grounded world, then nothing feels harmonious, everything is clashing, and it feels jarring. So, the Wicked movie could have also very well fallen victim to this, and it's just a trailer, so it could be different within the actual context of the film. But from the looks of it, it seems like the filmmakers found the right balance. The world of the film appears to be quite fantastical, otherworldly, and whimsical, so it can more naturally maintain the playful essence of the source material, but it's also being viewed through a more epic, dramatic, blockbuster lens, which gives it a gravitas that allows you to be emotionally absorbed whilst still having fun. But the visuals also play a part in this, and that was the next major point I was curious about with this film. Would the visuals be grand? Would they be enchanting? Would they be vibrant? Would they be bland? Would they be imaginative? Too grounded? Too small in scope? Would the color grading and cinematography elevate the look or destroy it? How about the CGI? The lighting? There are just so many ways the visuals could go. What gave me a positive feeling about what the film would look like was the set photos that leaked, which showed expensive old-school practical sets that were whimsical, grand in scale, and exactly what this film calls for, as well as some costumes that could be more enchanting and extravagant, but are still far from bland. However, at the end of the day, it's all about how these things are captured on film. And while, by the looks of the trailer, it could have been much, much worse, it also could have been much, much better. The main discourse I'm seeing around the film is that people are saying it has that washed out, low contrast, desaturated, overly digitized look that so many contemporary blockbusters have while others are trying to defend it by pointing out the colors in the costumes and production design and saying, look, it's colorful, and then attempting to dismiss the artificial digital look by saying that the sets were practical, but the sets were absolutely extended and enhanced with CGI. I even saw people claiming that this tulip field shot was 100% practical because they did plant real tulips. So yeah, like, the tulips in the foreground are real, but the ones in the background most definitely are not. Okay? Here's the thing. I'm 
absolutely not against CGI at all. In fact, I encourage it to achieve the fantastical and create a world that isn't possible to do practically. But by the looks of the trailer, the digital effects seem to overpower the practical sets and make them not even look practical, which is a shame because that was one of the most exciting, refreshing aspects of this film. That it wasn't all green screen and CG, that there was a tangible, handcrafted quality to it, almost like a contemporary ode to the classic Wizard of Oz film, which was groundbreaking and imaginative and innovative in its practical effects, optical illusions, and handmade artistry. This was the opportunity to marry both old Hollywood and new Hollywood techniques, showing the advantages of both practical and CG in a world where CG is used as a crutch to lazily fall back on rather than as a tool to enhance. And I guess to a degree that is what this film is doing because there is still a lot of practical work here, but it just doesn't look like it. And I think a major reason for that is how the movie is filmed. They're using lenses with a shallow depth of field, they're using flat lighting, they're color grading it with lots of grey, and like most contemporary movies, they're shooting it on digital cameras rather than on film, which makes the image less rich, less textured, more lifeless. And it's not something that casual moviegoers can usually pinpoint, but it is something that they can usually feel. The visuals just seem hollow and muddy and artificial, and it could have been worse. It doesn't look downright dreadful, but there's a sense of magic that's missing. That magic is present in the designs and the concepts, so at least something strong is being captured in a lackluster way, rather than a situation like The Little Mermaid where the design sucked and the fantasy is minimal, so it's something lackluster being captured in a lackluster way. And it may sound like nitpicking and complaining, but calling out what's not working leads to more effective results in the future. And in this case, the filmmakers have the time to correct a lot of this in post-production, so hopefully they at least do some better color grading. I would encourage them to try emulating film and make it look as less digital as possible, or even experiment with a look that's similar to a contemporary take on Technicolor. Okay, so the final aspect of the film I was curious about before the trailer was Ariana Grande's performance as Glinda. Back in the day, I wanted Disney to cast Ariana as Ariel in The Little Mermaid because at the time I couldn't think of anyone else who would be able to provide the vocals along with the bubbly energy and naivete. And though she has never been given the opportunity to show off any real cinematic acting abilities, and I was never confident that she'd be the next Meryl Streep or anything, I had seen enough to know she had the tool set to be able to at least pull off the task of playing Ariel. And for the record, I'm so glad she didn't end up in that role because Halle Bailey was beyond perfect and carried that whole movie on her back. I wouldn't want to see anyone else in that role. But yeah, when it comes to a character like Ariel, I don't think the acting performance is as important as being able to exude the energy of the character, which is why I initially thought Ariana would have been able to do it. As long as you're giving off the vibe of that character, I don't necessarily think an Oscar-worthy technical acting performance is necessary. And I'd say the same goes for the character of Glinda, and even more so because she's a more whimsical character who isn't really grounded in reality, and a conventional cinematic acting performance isn't required for that role, as long as the Glinda energy is present, and it naturally is with Ariana Grande. However, like with the tone of the film, I didn't know how far they'd push it or how much they'd strip it down or even if the approach of the character would match the movie around her. Would she be doing a Sam and Cat voice in a film with an epic demeanor? Would she be attempting to strip it down to a completely grounded level? And if so, would she be able to sell it or come across as natural since she isn't seasoned in the world of dramatic acting or film acting in general? 
would it be just a passable performance or would it be legitimately strong? After all, she auditioned for this role and won this role over experienced film actors such as Amanda Seyfried who would have no doubt done a great job, so was it the singing that won Ariana the role? Or her popularity? Or bribery? Or all of the above? Or was she just all around the best performer? I gotta tell ya, when I saw some leaked featurette clips a few months back, her line delivery had me hesitant. It was somewhat clashing with the cinematic vibe the film seemed to be going for, but this new Super Bowl trailer thankfully softened me up a bit on it. I mean, yeah, she barely says anything, and the you're green line is not far removed from Nickelodeon. But for the most part, she seems to be very connected, and her don't be afraid line is very strongly delivered. It seems to be the right balance of emotionally grounded and whimsical. Now, the issue I do definitively have has nothing to do with her performance, it's the way she looks in the film. They have made her up to look so washed out and even sickly, and I know they're going for a soft look, but there's still way too little contrast in her appearance and it's kinda jarring. It's mostly the bleached eyebrows, if they darkened those things she would look significantly more harmonious, but she almost looks uncanny valley, so yeah. I also would have preferred her to be a ginger, but that's just a personal thing. This objectively is not flattering her though. Okay, so my overall thoughts on the trailer, I think it looks really solid. They seem to have taken the right direction for the most part, which could have very well not been the case. This is not an easy musical to adapt to the big screen, and by the looks of it, their approach is quite effective. Anything I have not spoken on, I don't have strong opinions about yet, so I guess we'll wait and see. And we'll also find out if splitting this film into two parts was necessary. But yeah, that's my impression. What do you guys think of the trailer? What do you think of my impression of the trailer? And um, do you think all modern blockbusters need to stop looking like cement? Even if the content that is being filmed is colorful, it still ends up looking like cement, and yeah, okay, that's all. <laughs> Bye.